Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? Charlie back here with yet another video. And as promised, look what showed up in the mail today. The Apple Watch Series 3 with LTE. I did purchase the 42 millimeter version in space gray. So guys, without further ado, let's just dive right in and we're gonna see what's inside this box. Let's start out by unboxing the new Apple Watch Series 3 with LTE. The packaging hasn't changed much since the first generation except for the red Series 3 text on the top of the box. So upon unboxing this, we're gonna find the inner box with all the information in it. We're gonna remove that because we'll get to it just a bit later. Inside, you'll find your new shiny Apple Watch wrapped in protective plastic. It is very easy to remove and just continue on with your life, just like so. So you're probably thinking, this watch looks almost identical to the previous generations. That's because it really is the same, mine being a very tiny 0.25 millimeters thicker at the sensor. Upon removing the tray, you're going to find your peripherals underneath. This includes a one amp wall outlet charger, which is the same one shipped with a new iPhone. And of course, the same inductive charger seen with the previous generations of the Apple Watch. Inside the inner slip box, you'll find some paperwork, including some simple instructions showing you what the controls on your Apple Watch does. You'll also find a small wrist strap for those of you with smaller wrists. It's easy to change out the wristbands. Simply press the button just above the bottom strap on the back of the watch and slide it the strap either left or right. Then insert the other strap into the slot until it locks in place. Just be careful not to drop your watch while changing the band. It's happened. First impressions. It looks pretty much the same as the previous two generations except the LTE model's crown has a red dot indicating that it's an LTE model. The Series 3 is just a hair thicker on the sensor, merely 0.25 millimeters. The ceramic back has otherwise not changed at all. Putting on the watch is simple, even with the basic sport band. Just line up the top strap with the hole in the bottom strap that's comfortable for you, then tuck the remaining strap inside the slot. Pairing the new Apple Watch is nearly effortless. It's impossible to screw it up, so if you aren't tech savvy, there is nothing to be worried about. So first, you'll need to move your watch near your phone. A dialog will appear. Press continue. Hold the watch up to your camera for a few seconds and you're paired. That's it. It really is that easy. Then you'll be asked if you want to restore from a backup or set up as a new watch. We're going to select set up as new watch. Next, you'll want to select which wrist you plan on using your Apple Watch. Most people prefer their left wrist. You'll have to agree to the Apple legal mumbo jumbo, then select if you want to share your watch analytics. If you care about your privacy, select don't share. Then you'll want to set your passcode if you prefer. I can't exactly show you this step for obvious reasons. Well guys, I had to cut today's video a little bit short because we actually ran into an activation issue with my new Apple Watch. So I'm working with a representative at Verizon Wireless right now to help resolve the issue. And the reason because of that is we are on a business account with Verizon. Most people are gonna be on a personal account with Verizon, so you may never see this issue. However, having a business account does make a difference apparently. So we're working closely with Verizon Wireless to get that resolved and I will update you guys once we find out whether or not this will work. And if it works, obviously we're going to show you how well it works and of course a few test calls uh, to check our sound quality and see how well the coverage is with LTE on the new Apple Watch Generation 3. Well guys, that's a wrap for today's video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for an update on the activation issue on my new Apple Watch. Also, I'll be posting some videos about my thoughts of the call quality and the LTE coverage on the new watch, which has apparently been an issue. Also, I plan on posting some videos of accessories that you can get for your new Apple Watch if you purchased one, including your previous Apple Watch, because the Series 2 and Series 3 happen to be identical. 
And if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. You might find some other friends of yours that also are interested in the same thing. And if you didn't like the video, well, you also know what to do. We'll catch you in the next one, guys.